Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to take a look at our pine shaving bin that we have going. Now, it's been 18 days since my last update. I've been trying to do it about every two weeks, so it's a little bit long this time. But let's go and take a look. They're probably going to need some food, but we're going to check and see how it's doing as far as the food and also to see how the moisture content is. I have the bags right over the top. We're going to see if the moisture content has changed, if it's increased or decreased. And if we need to, we can add some water. Um, hopefully, I don't think we will need to at this point, but we're, let's just stick with food probably and some, maybe some crushed eggshell. But we'll see if it's like really desperate for it, if it's really drying out on the top. So let's go and take a look at the system. All right, as you can see, it says 420 down here. Today is May 8th, so 18 days. I'm going to take this off. I'll put a new one on later. Let's move this down a little bit and get started with how this looks. So overall, bags don't look like there's too much on top here. Underneath, lots of stuff stuck to the bottom of the bag. That's to be expected. Let's move that off to the side. And then same thing on this bag. A lot of stuff stuck to the bottom. It looks like there's some castings on here, which is a good sign. It means that the worms are moving stuff around. And it looks fairly moist on here. I, I have to say, I don't think that it's too dry. Um, last time, the last, uh, when the first time I wanted to say I really started checking these out, these, these shavings at the top were kind of dry. I can see one worm right here, even on the side, right already right here. And we've got one worm. So I think we fed the center here. So let's dig over on this side right here and just take a look and see how things are. Try to keep that straight there. Here we go. So the material still is pretty, it's there. I mean, like it's not, it's not coming apart, but there are some worms working through the material here. They're definitely a little bit larger, these worms. So you can see right there and there's another one in there. So these worms are not juveniles. Those are mature worms. Some more worms right there. There we go. There's a smaller one in here. That one's a juvenile. So we are getting some uh, some smaller worms in this system, which is good to see. I don't think I'll be able to find any cocoons. I mean, this is just really hard to find it in this uh, lighter looking material. When you get really dark castings, they become easier to find, I feel. So again, some more worms in here. They're sort of blending in with the, uh, the color of the material, but another one right there. So material over there looking pretty good. Oh, actually here is a cocoon. I just mentioned I couldn't find it, but here is one right here. Let me take it off there and put it on my glow so you can really see it. If I can get it off, there we go. Ah, still having trouble getting it off my finger. There we go, right here. There is a cocoon. So they are multiplying in here. That is a good sign. It's stuck to my fingers. Um, that's what I want to see. Usually they're harder to find in this type of material when it's, it's sort of this yellowish, uh, dark yellow color. I mean, it's very similar to how the cocoons look, so they can be hard to spot. But it looks like they're doing pretty well in this area. This is an area that I think we fed earlier, so there have been some more worms right there. So it looks like they're doing pretty well. Now let's put, move that back in. And let's check out the other side. I think the last time we fed in the middle, so we're gonna check the sides out first, see if anything's over here or not. And over here, up oh, even more worms. So they're spread out all through the system here. There's quite a few of them over here, actually, more than I was expecting to really have like one side that sort of have some and another side that didn't. A little bit liquidy over here, maybe. So this is a good thing I'm sort of mixing it up a little bit. You can see a lot of worms in this area. So let's just see, there's a lot of worms on the side too. But this area feels really moist. You can see that there's moisture that's a, it's a little bit too much moist over there and a little bit drier on top. So it probably needs to be mixed up a little bit. But you can see it's just a lot of worm activity right here. Oh, it looks like there might have been some food left over in this area. Maybe that's why. So let's just see if there's any more food. By the way, I'm also not seeing any mites in this system anymore. I did have a mite issue at one point, but as soon as I let it dry out, they went away pretty quick. So again, good, healthy worms. Well, a lot of worms on the side over here too. I'm not sure if you can see them real well, but there's a whole bunch of worms on the side. You can see right now, I just scraped them off. I try to be very careful when I'm doing that so I don't squish them. There's a worm stuck on my glove. A couple of them. There we go. Let's just check this corner right here. And when I'm doing this, I'm also letting some air into the bottom here. And yeah, again, I'm having more worms. This one looks like it's, uh, it might have a cocoon that it's gonna push out soon. 
So overall, this is looking really, really good. You know, getting a chance to also kind of rotate it around a little bit, dry out the bottom. Now let's dig in this center section. See how this looks. And this is really starting to look like castings more and more in this center section. So it looks really good. You know, you can see that there's on the top, there's a lot of, you know, the, the pine or the, the, yeah, the pine shavings. In the center, you're starting to get more of that mixture. And in the bottom, there's still a little bit more pine shavings. Normally that center section is what I've found is the first to really get kind of loaded with castings. So we're gonna move those off to the side. Let's just check down a little bit further here. Still looking really good. I think there's a cocoon right here, it looks like also. So there's another cocoon that we found, which is a good sign. It means that they're multiplying. Let's just take one more scoop here. Nice, healthy worms in there still. As you leave it there, you can see there's also a lot of tiny worms in this section. So there must have been some cocoons in this center section that, uh, that hatched recently, which is a good sign. Again, you can see it's at the top here, we've got the, the pine. Down here, we're really starting to see the, the castings mix more so and not just the, uh, the pine shavings anymore. So it's, we're starting to get that mixture of material, which is so important for castings. You can see actually we have some leaves left over in here too. I threw in a, a leaf. I think with uh, some of the other material. Now, I think these two areas I fed in last time, so we're gonna feed over here on this side. So I, the first side that we dug up, we're gonna feed on that side. We're gonna feed quite a bit again, as we did last time. Again, I'm not adding any extra bedding or anything like that. We're gonna just slowly let this bedding and the food that they're consuming just dissolve into everything, and that's how we're gonna let it go. So I have a lot of food over here, we've got Partially eaten apple, that was uh, I think rotten on one side, coffee grounds, apple core. We have some orange or clementine peels. Just so we can break these apart a little bit. No, no, never mind. And we're gonna add some carrot. Got another apple core. We go through a lot of apples lately. Clementine. And let me see if I can just grab a little bit more of my carrot out of here. As you can tell, this is all frozen. You can hear it, I'm sure. As I always say, it's uh, frozen food is a little bit safer to add because you know there's, there's there's no bugs on it, so everything goes in the freezer. And one more apple core. So I think that's a decent feeding for this bin. Let's add a little bit of crushed eggshell here. Let's see if it'll just sprinkle some in here. We don't need too much, I think, this time. We're just going to add in a little bit over the eggshell or the. Uh, Little of the eggshell and stuff over the apple and the, the clementine especially. And then we're gonna cover this up. So, bin's looking really good. It's starting to, to really show its age as it's turning more of this uh, dark rich color rather than the really bright pine shaving color. We're just gonna mix that around. So here it looks like this is a piece of banana peel on top. We're gonna just make sure that's buried in along with that piece right there. You know, we don't wanna get any bugs. I do have a my MPAL, which I'll link to up top, uh, the review that I, or the unboxing, I should say, that I did of it, that I have going right above this bin to try to prevent fruit flies. And uh, surprisingly, I'm actually catching quite a few. Uh, but I'll link that up top so you can take a look at it. So overall, it looks good. I don't think it needs any moisture. I think there's plenty of moisture in this system. Uh, the bags themselves, I think, are, are working well enough to keep that, uh, keep that going okay. So I think we're just gonna put our bags on top and this we're gonna call this a, uh, a successful check. So let me put these bags on top. And this, these bags, by the way, um, I don't have many systems that I've kept like this in the past, but these seem to be working pretty well. Um, did I have that right? I think we wanted that bent back. There we go. And then one last bag over here. So there we go, bags are on, and that kind of keeps that moisture in, and that way it stays nice and moist. If it's, if it's getting too moist, I can always take these off and dry it out, but I do sort of like these bag systems, uh, you know, it's the first time we're really trying it, but it's worked really well as far as uh, controlling the moisture. The only problem is you can't stack anything on top of it, which I do like to do. I used to stack a lot of my systems. But that's it for this update. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you have any comments or anything, any, anything you want to talk about, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching.